Bill and I know it's not the most fun thing, thinking about death, but this way at least everything will be taken care of. I think it is fun, thinking about death. I was more looking forward to this than I am my birthday this year. Okay, so Vince, let's start with you. Um, what would you like to do with your personal property? My collection of capes and top hats. I would bequeath to my loved one, Jacqueline. Thank you. My collection of wax faces and wax heads that are encased in glass to look like. Jacqueline, I'd love for her to take care of them. And I've got a, a painting that looks like a, a normal aristocrat, but then when there's lightning, it's just like. Do you want that one? I do. And Jacqueline, what about you? A player piano from a haunted stagecoach. Do you want that? Please. Vince? OK. Tears from a Scottish deerhound. Vince? And what about funeral services? Any special instructions there? Uh, I would like it to be in an old, decrepit, abandoned church at the top of a hill. There should be uh, some shrieks heard in the distance. Who, and who's shrieking? Who isn't shrieking? We'll have, like, we'll have a professional shrieker. It should be like old wooden doors. Of, yeah! Uh, with a greeter at the door, like, Are you here for the funeral? OK. And then, all of a sudden, the coffin opens, and there's no body. Where would your body be located? I, I want to be cremated. Great. And what about you, Jacqueline? I would like my body dragged out to a dimly lit field by jackals and left there to rot. Would you be willing to consider just having like a coffin and be buried in that? Fine, two jackals towing a coffin to a field and then let me rot. Okay. And it should be at midnight, so if there's lightning, it's like. Okay, do you have any property that you would need to have taken care of if you pass on simultaneously? Bella. And who's Bella? Our bat. Okay, and who would you like to take care of Bella? We like you. You seem very responsible, and that's what we'd want. What's involved with taking care of Bella? You have to make sure that she's safe and able to get into her cave. There's a lot of fluttering, you know, like at night. Okay, so I think I have um, pretty much everything. And the shriek? Yeah, we'll have to audition for that. You're great. Hey, we'll call you if they die within your lifetime. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bella, go to your cave. <laughs>